Good, great morning to you, my people. It's your gal, Key. Stay sane campaign. Well, let's be having it. Let's be frank. Sometimes you're going to be losing it. And I'm in a situation today where I'm slightly losing it. And that is to be expected because we all need to be coming and singing from the same hymn sheet. If you're singing from a different hymn sheet, it's going to be a problem. We need to understand the rules and we need to abide by the rules. It's as simple as that. So today I have taken my energy out on cleaning the fucking windows. I've cleaned windows like I've never cleaned windows before. And if you know anything about your girl key, you know I ain't the most domesticated of chicks. If a guy's looking for a domesticated chick, then maybe I ain't potentially the one, which is why I like to import. I like an imported man because some of the imported men have got serious household skills because their grandmothers taught them particularly well so we big up the man them who are culinary wizards in the kitchen those are my type of guys girl key ain't gonna lie i'm here i'm in day six i don't even know what day it is i'm gonna buy a plant and be taking my own advice about how to help get through this we're not gonna count days we're gonna look at a plant and help a plant help me to what i'm gonna watch it grow and i'm gonna watch it blossom as a way to document symbolically my own journey so how is lockdown treating you how you're getting on with the folks in your abode is it working for you is it working against you is it driving you insane let your girl key know because i am too human and whilst it is also about the stay staying campaign it's also acceptable and expected that at certain times we will naturally lose it. I remember I bought this. It says never get so busy making a life that you forget. Does it never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life? Because work often consumed me and it meant that at some times my family were compromised as I was always outside of the home, always channeling my energy into my career. So I accept that there is also a consequence when you make choices to um, pursue your career. There's a whole raft of consequences. And I guess that's something I never really talk about. But maybe you never know, it might be a time when I start to wax lyrical about the true shadow side of me being authentic and having my career, that actually there's a shadow side to that. And um, I think it's only real and... I don't know, it's something I'm pondering upon in terms of the shadow side of success, the side of success that people don't actually talk about. So how are you doing it? Have you lost it today? I lost it today, but what I decided to do is I noticed my desk so was full of paperwork. Often it's full of paperwork because, you know, I work at an office and my office is maintained, but actually the paperwork side of stuff, I come in and I just put it on my desk because I guess... It's like the shadow side of my business. So what about you? How are you doing? Have you lost it today? If you've lost it today, I need you to know it's absolutely okay. It's absolutely a part of this process. So I've got a little alert here from my mentor. She always has words of wisdom to inspire and help, help me to cope with the situation that we're going through. But what about you? What is your support network? How are you dealing with this time of unprecedented change? Let your girl key know. Let me know if you're losing it because I think losing it is actually a part of the process of staying sane. So I want to big up Prag pa or is it Patrick Spragger who, who encouraged me to stay sane. I appreciate that. Thank you for the love. Thank you for throwing back at me what I throw out to the world. I really appreciate that. And I think losing it is actually a part of the process. So I'm really grateful to be here. I'm grateful that I've cleaned the windows and I'm grateful that I've been able to channel my energy. I'm grateful that I'm able to do these videos that may also help too. I definitely believe I'm due for some meditation to help me maintain my mental because if I let my frustrations take over me, it's not going to be great for me. It's not going to be great for me. I need to be calm. I need to not let people take me out my calm. That's what I need right now. How about you? How are you doing? How's lockdown treating you? What's your home like? What's your environment like? What are the people like in your lockdown situation? Are they making it harder for you? Or 
are you getting through okay let your girl key know if you need support i'm here for you my duty is to be of service to the people because if it wasn't for the people i wouldn't be where i am today take care of you and each other it's your girl key